everybody, welcome back. In the next part of our series where we continue to open up products until we hit our chase card, we already opened up one box of Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. Looking for that ancient copper dragon, and today we're going to open up another box. Hopefully we hit it. So let's see. Uh, this set did officially break my streak of opening up one product and getting the chase card. I cannot believe that. Uh, man. So if you go back and you look at uh, some of the previous videos that we did where we opened up the Mystery Booster product, and then we also opened a um, Commander Legends, original Commander Legends product. We were searching for a Jewel Lotus and a Mana Crypt. Man, let me tell you, it was very unexpected. Anyway, today we are still searching for the Ancient Copper Dragon, but there are some other great cards that are in this set. And I'm uh, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, definitely Rare Land Cycle. Other of the Ancient Dragons in here. Archivist, Kindred Discovery. What else is in here? Splacer Kitten. Yeah. So a little bit of everything. There is something for everyone in this box. Alondro Traverse. Double Rare Pack. So what's crazy, uh, and I've said this before, is that this set, uh, I've had the most luck with, with getting Ancient Coppers. So in one draft box I opened up, I got a uh, showcase foil. In another draft box I opened up, I got a borderless non-foil. So they can definitely happen. Um, I think statistically it's our better chance. There are more packs that are in this box. Uh, there's 24 versus 18 in a set box. Um, set boxes, yeah, you do get more rares. Um, but as you can see in our last couple of packs, we had you know double rarities. So. Um, it's not, you know, all clear-cut as far as it goes with this set. All right. Aspiring Leader, Ballroom, and Tomb of Horrors is going to be our foil rare. But, uh, you know, there's some stinkers in here, too. Uh, I think the set was hyped to be a lot more than it was uh, made out to be. And, uh, yeah, it definitely just kind of took a dump. And uh, to can't drive in this water. That's that's up there as far as the common goes. I think it's top common in this set. Skullwinder, Raphael, and an ancient brass borderless non foil. I will take that all day. It's not common that I feel like you get borderless ones in here. Um, I don't know. I also I think. I think I've been really hard-pressed in the past to open up more than one um, Ancient Dragon in a box. I, I think it's happened, but I feel like it's it's very uncommon. So I feel like if we're going to get one Ancient Dragon, um, or if we're going to get a dragon, it's, it, we're only going to get one. So Definitely still a lot to be said about this set. All right, Wizards of Thay. All right, and that was a whole lot of work for a whole lot of nothing. And that's, I think that's kind of like the motif of this set. I feel like that's how it goes. It's a whole lot of work that happens here, and there's just not a big payoff. Uh, and, you know, that happens. All right, Street Urchin. We have Descent into Avernus, I think. No, not that one. Look at something else. Um, but yeah, uh, some of these cards have definitely had some fluctuations. So they're definitely seeing play all over the place. Um, fun cards, and again, there's rare land cycle in here. It's just hard to beat. It's a, it's a good one. Uh, again, I did just see another reprint, though. Um, limited reprint, though, I should say, in the new Lord of the Rings set, which is uh, yet to release, at least at the time of filming in this video. Uh... You know, Reflecting Pool did see a reprint in there, so that's... I don't know where the price is sitting with that one, but... Arcane Signet, that's a nice hit for us. All right, Fraying Line and a Sailor's Bane. Yeah, uh, Lord of the Rings did some reprints. They did Gemstone Caverns. They did, uh, they did quite a few. The Canter again. Uh, even this regular land, like the, the gates. Even the gates in this set are still sitting, like, buy listing, like 50 cents, something like that. Baldur's Gate, not bad. I think that's sitting below a buck. 
for the rare land cycle, but, uh, you know, it's not a bad card. Wait for his bobble. Yeah. All right, Council of Four, Ravenloft, and the Winter Eladrin. Okay, so not seeing a lot happen in this box. Uh, it, I think it kind of worries me a little bit, honestly. All right, Blade of Selves, uh, it's a couple bucks, but yeah, we're, uh, this, see, this is where, I think this is where everybody kind of gets that, um, that negative uh, impact of the set, because either you have a really good set, like a really good box, uh, or you just have an absolutely abysmal, horrible box, and, uh, yeah, this one is, this is pretty abysmal, we're almost almost what 16 packs in and we're just we've hit one uh, ancient dragon so yeah uh, this box is going to be an L I think no matter how you slice it it's just not going to be very good John Arenicus Horn of Hell, and some Thieves Tools for our foil uncommon yeah uh, so no rare land no archivist no kitten uh, no kindred discovery and one ancient dragon. Give us some strength. Bramble Sovereign and a Halson. Showcase foil uncommon. Oh, you know what? That's a mythic. I forgot about that. All right, we're going to speed this one up a little bit. Okay, Gone Gate, not thick. Lulu and an Eldritch Pet. Beckoning a wisp. Ah, all right, all right. This is this is the chase. This is what we're talking about. This is what this whole video set was set for, was to chase the cards that are hard to get, and it is certainly becoming very hard to find that ancient copper dragon. Gorian, wanna wonder, and a warehouse thief, common foil. But it's like that Miley Cyrus song, right? It's the climb. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Raised by Giants. White Plume Adventure. That's actually the one I was thinking about earlier. Don't know why I thought it was descent into a burnus, but White Plume was on the up and up for a hot minute. So I don't know where that's sitting. But uh, man, I was definitely doing some work. Speaking of work, though, this box needs to do some. All right, fur blog, and all right, hello. Oh no, man down, call timeout. All right. No mention of the gathering cards were harmed in the filming of this video. Scion, mighty. Last three packs of the box. Uh, this has been abysmal. This is like just beating me up. I don't know what's happening here. This is a, this is a not, not a good, not a good box. Elter intellect and the boo, the boo token in uh, foil, like four bucks. That's all it is in non foil. All right, we're just gonna go right to the uncommon. Patriarch seal still doing something. Amazing and Undermountain, not a bad hit. And last pack. Are we gonna have our copper in here? Probably not. So here we go. We've got Renardi, Hardy, Majestic Genesis for our third mythic of the box. This was horrible. This was not a great box. Uh, we pulled rares, but we pulled just absolutely terrible cards. <laughs> so with that being said, we did get a uh, Ancient Dragon in here. Borderless non-foil. Uh, but we did not get a ton of support cards. We got no rare land cycle. And we did not get any of the other major hitters from the rare column. So yeah, 
Uh, that's rough. I don't know. So like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. It's okay. I understand. If you're not subscribed put to the channel, but you want to be, there is a button down below for that. Link's in the description for Amazon and Discord. If you decide to do some shopping with Amazon, use my link. I get a little bit of a kickback from that, and I really would appreciate that. And that's it, guys. So with that being said, we did not find the Copper Dragon, which means the search continues. So that's it. I will catch you all on the next video.